Hello everybody, I am Lady Raven Dancer Goth and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time since I've released a new video um, between not having a room to record any videos or time because I am a mom with a four-year-old son and it's summertime so I have to entertain him. It's been hard, but I have been working on a new series for you guys. I am doing my own version of the Medieval Charter Challenge. I don't know if you've ever seen or heard anything about that, but I will explain that in just a moment. I am still doing the Ultimate Decades Challenge in some so I'll be releasing a new video for that shortly. Working on that game as well between the new update and updating all my custom content and mods. It's been fun. Yeah. Gotta love Sims 4, right? Anyways, so this is our custom neighborhood called Gothwood Isle. Um, we definitely have a lot of work to do on that, but that is part of the challenge, building up the neighborhood. So I'm doing my own version, meaning it's totally different from the rules, which I can post in the comments below for you guys if you're interested in starting it yourself. I got inspiration to start this challenge from some of my favorite YouTubers, Let's Play With Fire. She has an amazing series for the Medieval Charter Challenge and Tea Addict who streams on Twitch and YouTube. So check them out, definitely super cool. Um, but anyways, I'm going to explain my challenge. So I am just doing four families. Originally, you're supposed to start out with a lot of families, like four peasant families two yeoman families, which is like in between merchants and peasants, and um, like a couple merchant families and a gentry family. Um, this is all medieval, medieval classes. You're basically building up a medieval neighborhood from scratch. So I'm starting out with just four families. One is the royal family, which in the original challenge, you do not get to play the royal family till the end, but we are starting with them. We're actually going to play them first in the go-around, um, which my go-arounds are seven days. And we'll be starting in summer for each family. So this is the Goth family. If you haven't ever heard of the Goth family, they are very famous in all the Sims games. And this is going to be like the start of their ancestry. So this is King Wolf and Queen Morgana. They have two servants. Then we have the Landgrab family, which is another famous family from Sims. And this is the Duke and Duchess of the town. So they are next in line to the throne if anything happens to the king before he has a son. So the Duke will be next. This is Duke Joffrey, Landgrab, and Duchess Blair, Landgrab. Then we have our merchant family, which is not a family that is famous to the Sims. This is a new family. Uh, they are going to be really cool. Uh, they're hailing from France, of course, the Champagne family. They will have a vineyard, and they own the tavern in town. This is uh, Jean Champagne and Marie Champagne. And this is our peasant family. The Pleasants are Pleasant Peasants. And this is obviously a famous family from The Sims as well. Um, one could say Pleasant View was named after them. <laughs> That's to your own opinion. This is William and Anastasia. They are going to be taking care of chickens and pigs. And they are the lowest class family of the neighborhood. So basically, we're going to play each family, and once we have played each family for seven days, then we will be starting our random occurrence scenarios, which are a big part of the challenge as well. That is where you roll a dice, and there's like about six categories, and depending on what it rolls on, we can either get a new family for the neighborhood, uh, the family could get some financial benefit or loss, um, something bad or good happening to their family, and uh, just different scenarios. Death could be one. That's always a big one and a scary one. So we won't start that until after we played each of our four families for at least one week. 
So things will get very dramatic and interesting. Um, each family is going to have to pay taxes to the crown. And the crown will be building up the neighborhoods, will be building up community lots. One of our first community lots, hopefully the land grab family will be actually paying for and buying. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but we will have to decide that. So now basically we're going to jump into the goth family first, introduce each of the families to you, kind of give a little tour of their house, and then we'll actually start playing hopefully the goth family first. So I'll see you guys in a minute when we get into it. Okay, so I have not played them at all yet. I am just setting them up, getting their houses. Why is this working? Getting their houses ready and uh, getting them all ready to start playing, basically. So we'll start with the king, of course, the main character of the neighborhood. This is King Wolf Goth, and he is a pleasure sim. <laughs> His a lifetime want is to have 50 dream dates. Whether they will all be with his queen or um, other ladies of the neighborhood, we shall see. His main want, which I do try to play once based as much as possible, um, is to make a friend. That's the highest aspiration right now. Um, it will be harder to play once based with medieval gameplay, of course, because not everything is medieval that they want, but we will try our best. <clears throat> and as the challenge goes along, I'll be explaining a bunch of stuff for you guys. So, he obviously doesn't know anybody yet, but his household. He is going to be in the politics career, which we will set up for him. He is a Libra. And he is interested in crime. Lovely king. Food. He likes work, so he'll be ready to be a good king for us. Oh, Entertainment, no. slightly no. paranormal, slightly environment, and slightly travel. So, his turn-ons are glasses. His turn-ons are glasses, good at cleaning, and I do apologize if you hear any yelling in the background. It is my His turn-ons are glasses, good at cleaning, and he dislikes witchiness. So, as a rule here, I'll show you guys. I have the trait mod, so you can have the traits that you have in Sims 3 uh, for Sims 2. So, as a rule, if they have a turn-on of any occult Sims, I will let them automatically be a Supernatural fan. If they have a turn off for occult sims, I will put supernatural skeptic. I haven't figured out what I'll do if they have both. Like if they like a werewolf but they hate witches. Like I don't know what I'll do yet for that. <laughs> so. He is royalty. Obviously has his traits. He is adventurous because that is one of the pleasure sim traits. He is going to be a genius. Because his secondary aspiration, wait, is supposed to be knowledge, but for some reason I didn't do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add that now. Okay, so yes, he's a knowledge sim, so he is a genius. He is um, got the arts and crafts, uh, one true hobby, and so he's a photographer's eye. We'll have to see how that works out with medieval gameplay. Maybe he'll just uh really like to capture artwork with his paintings. He, They usually automatically get a good trait and a bad trait as well. So for adult sims and elder sims, they'll end up with five traits each. Um, unless they're royal and nobles, they'll automatically get proper traits because they've been trained their whole lives like that. So they'll all have six traits for royal and nobles, proper traits. So teens will have four traits, kids will have three traits, and toddlers will have two traits. So they, yeah, so they automatically get one trait for their main aspiration, one trait for their secondary aspiration. They get one trait based on their hobbies, get a good trait and a bad trait. And then a sixth trait if they are royalty or nobles. Alright, so 
So again, he's adventurous, genius, photographer's eye, good, proper, and a supernatural skeptic because he does not like witches. Okay. So, our queen here. The lovely Queen Morgana Goth. She is a knowledge sim. She wants to max out seven skills, which hopefully will be possible for her. She will not have a job because she is a woman, and they do not get jobs, unfortunately, in the medieval times. But we all know who runs the show. So her turn-ons are gray hair. She likes witchiness, which is quite interesting that her husband dislikes it. And she doesn't like athletics, so she doesn't really want her mans to be working out. Let's see. Her uh, interests are slightly food. Uh, she likes work a lot, so I think she'll like working on helping her husband uh, create a good kingdom, especially because she's smart. Um, she likes entertainment a lot. She loves paranormal stuff, so that's where her witchy turn-on comes in. She loves the weather, so I feel like she's kind of witchy herself. And she likes the environment a lot. So, her secondary aspiration... Oh, I actually did hers. Okay, she's so she's pleasure. So, it's funny because her husband's main aspiration is pleasure and secondary knowledge. Her main is knowledge and secondary pleasure. So, they're like opposites. Opposites to attract, right? So she is obviously royalty. She is a genius. That's her main aspiration for knowledge. She is also adventurous because her secondary is pleasure. She is proper because she's royal. She is a supernatural fan. She rolled to get the bad trait of a snob. And her one true hobby is tinkering. So we made her a vehicle enthusiast. So maybe she likes uh, carriages and horses, horse-drawn carriages. She has a fascination for those and fixing them. I doubt she'll be doing much of that, though. Okay, so these are their servants. One will be mainly responsible for cooking. One will mainly be responsible for cleaning and taking care of the outside. And then once we have babies, we will um, have more jobs for them. So we'll have to figure that out. They're pretty much going to be like NPCs. We're mainly just going to be making them do work and taking care of their basic needs. We won't really, like, develop their stories too much. So this is Maid Brooke Brownlow. She's a knowledge gem. We're not really worried about her lifetime once because we won't really be playing it. And, uh, yeah, there's not going to be too much to her. But she does have swimwear, hard worker, and she just likes facial hair. So... Not going to be doing too much with her. And this is the other maid. Maid Velma Fairborn. And it's pretty much hard worker, creative, and she just likes a stinkiness. So again, we're not really going to play with them. I gave them the servant treats for both. So, yeah. Alright, so let's show you the castle a bit. We'll go more into this when it's the goth round time. This is the main entrance, and we still have a bunch of work to do on this. We'll be developing the town and the houses as the challenge goes on. So these are actually burglar alarms, which is super cool. This is going to be their living room. They all have fires, pits in their houses, uh, functional fires off of Plum Bob Keep. Pretty much everything I get in this challenge is on Plum Bob Keep. If you want to know about that or get the link or whatever, just um, write a comment and I'd be more than happy to share it with you. This is their study and like hobby room. They do have a crystal ball computer, which is awesome, and a telephone. They have two bathrooms in the main floor, huge kitchen, oh. huge kitchen, it's gorgeous. Again, I'll be showing you this more once we start their round, of course. This is their dining room. 
All right, we have a lot of extra guest rooms, which we will definitely be editing in the future. This is the king and queen's room. This is going to be the nursery. Hopefully we'll be using this soon. Very cute. Okay. The upstairs, there's really nothing there yet. We'll be, you know, adding to this all throughout the challenge. Go down to the outside. I gave them this cool hot tub from Plum Bob Keep. And just some chairs to hang out. And then we'll go to the servants' quarters and down here... We have two bedrooms for them. We'll pretty much only have two maids at one time for them. So they have space for, you know, kids. There's only eight sims per family. A dining area for the servants because we will not let them dine in the fancy dining room. Um, we've got wine already for them. Hmm. To figure out why I can't do anything. Oh, we've got mead. <laughs> And they have a swimming pool, which is awesome. I did download this house. I did not build it. It's also from Plum Bob Keep, I believe. Okay, so this is their house, basically. Show you the outside, totally. Okay. So now we'll go check out the other families and introduce you to them before we start playing anything. Okay, so this is the next in line, the Landsgraf families. If you know some of these famous Sims families, I'm sure, from every Sims game there is. I just wanted to incorporate them now in the medieval world, starting from the beginning. One of the random occurrences is to add a new family, so hopefully we'll get that roll a lot because we definitely need new families. Okay, so we'll start with the Duke, and they will have to meet the King and Queen right away. Alright, so this is Duke Jeffrey Langarab. He has a knowledge gem. He wants to become the head of the SCIA, which unfortunately won't happen, but he will be in the military career, so I feel like this is really close for him. So we'll have to add him to that. He doesn't know the king and queen yet, or anyone else, but he will. He is a Virgo. He's very neat. His interests are... Sports, kind of paranormal, he loves the environment, which is good, he loves fashion, he loves travel, so that will be fun. <clears throat> and his turns off, turn-ons are he likes red hair and gray hair, so he has, he doesn't care which type, and he dislikes vampires. So, he is nobility, because he is a duke. They are proper, because again, royalty and nobility will always get this trait. They've been raised that way. Maybe unless they uh, bought their way into it. Maybe the next generation then would have proper. So, he is a genius, because he has the knowledge trait. He is a social butterfly, because his secondary aspiration is popularity. He is a dog person. I believe his one true hobby is science, so I made that as one of the traits for that. He is a born salesperson. That was his good trait. I do envision them owning a huge community lot, but we do need to have like someone to work there, so I have to think about that. could probably do a townie to work there, so we'll be building that and... Um, having them purchase that lot so they can make a lot of money. And he is a supernatural skeptic because his turn off is vampirism. Alright, so now we'll look at our Duchess Blair. Well, camera's acting weird. 
I love this dress I found too. Okay, it doesn't want to let me zoom in on her really, but this is Duchess Blair Landgraf. She is also a knowledge sim, so her and her hobby are very similar in that aspect. She wants to become a city planner, which, you know, won't be able to happen. The women do not get careers in the medieval times. Um, but I felt like that is a good aspiration for her because she will be helping her husband um, advise the king and the queen, so she'll want to uh, build up community lots and purchase them possibly, so I felt like that was a good uh, lifetime one for her. So she is a Pisces. She's very active, very nice. She is interested in politics, food, sports, environment, and culture, and travel. So, her turn-ons are facial hair and plant stem, and she dislikes full face makeup. So, she is also nobility, of course. She is a bookworm from her knowledge tree. She is friendly because I believe her secondary aspiration is popularity as well. But I didn't add that for some reason. <laughs> Let's just fix that real quick. Okay, so yeah, friendly. She's proper. She rolled to get a diva trait as her bad trait. Um, she is a supernatural fan because she likes plant sims. And she is handy because her one true hobby is a tinkering. Not that she'll be having to fix many things in their house. So, we'll go ahead and get that for her. She wants to gain a skill point, and he wants to also gain a skill point. Okay. So, their house also will be working on, of course, in the future. This is their burglar alarm. Very cute doggy. This is their main living room. This is a TV, actually. Watch moving people or exercise. From Plum Bobkeep. Dining room, kitchen. Now we're not gonna have them have servants. We will have them hire a maid and gardener and all that, um, but they won't be allowed to have live-in servants. This is their master bedroom. This is their like little uh, recreation room, I guess. This is a stereo. This is um like a keg. This is their nursery for the future land grab babies. And this is their study. Another crystal ball TV. Alright, so this house is a very pretty as well. Okay, and we'll get back into them when it's their turn. I'm going to fix all the seasons to start at the beginning of summertime as well. To the Champagne family next. Our merchant class family. Now I won't let them hire maids and gardeners and all that. They're going to have to take care of that themselves. I'm only going to let the nobility royalty and gentry classes have any sort of help with their uh, manners. Okay, so this is our merchant family. Like I said, he is going to have a vineyard, brewery, tavern sort of thing going on. His name is Jean, Jihon, however you want to pronounce that. Ancient uh, French medieval name. They are going to be kind of like elven, like I want to think of France as more like an elvish territory that they came from. So, he is a fortune sim. He wants to earn $100,000, which owning businesses will obviously help. He is a Gemini, so he's very outgoing and playful. Let's see, he is interested in sports, work kind of weather, culture, fashion, and that's it. He likes fitness, fit people, he likes gray hair, and he dislikes hats. So his 
traits. He is a merchant. He is a workaholic from his fortune aspiration. Uh, he is a social butterfly because his secondary was popularity. He is a sailor. His one true hobby is sports. He is he rolled to get a loser treat, so that sucks for him. And his good trait was this schmoozer, which, which will definitely help him uh, make sales at the tavern slash uh, winery. So right now he really wants to get a bronze sales talent badge, which, which we will be working on for him. His wife is Marie Champagne. She is also Elvin over here. She already wants to have a baby, which is perfect. She is a family sim. She wants to reach her golden anniversary, which there is no divorce lane in the medieval times, so the only way out of this is death. <laughs> she is an Aquarius. She is playful and kind of nice. She's kind of into crime, which doesn't really make sense for her. She likes sports like her hubby. She likes entertainment, paranormal, weather, environment. She is also a merchant. She is family-oriented because she's family sim. Her secondary, I believe, is knowledge. Yes, so she got the bookworm treat. She loves the outdoors. Her hobby is nature. She'll be mainly attending the, uh, the vineyard plants. She is a vegetarian, and uh, that was her good trait she rolled. And she is a supernatural skeptic because of her turnoff. She doesn't like werewolves. She does like mechanical skills and someone who is athletic. All right, so let's see their house. Downloaded this off of, uh, I was about to say the gallery, um, the monkey. They have all their plants going already. Just started that. Um, it's all different types of grapes for different types of wine. They're grape stomping that. Their house is a very simple right now. Kitchen, dining room, bathroom downstairs. They do get a gong pit, which every time they use the restroom, this fills up if they don't clean it, which how they clean it is from ashes from the functional fires. They'll have to light these and collect the ashes and think like three sacks of ashes is how you clean it. Um, if they don't clean it, roaches appear and roaches get them very sick. We will be having the sickness mod where they can die from the sickness quite easy. This is the master bedroom. We have a guest bedroom. We have a nursery and we have their like living room up here. Okay, so that is them. We will look at their tavern that they own, the Wood End Tavern, when we play them. But for now, we're going to go back to the town and look at the final family that we're starting with, the Pleasant family, our Pleasant peasants. Okay, this is our fourth and final family of the neighborhood for right now, at least. The Pleasant family, our peasants. Um, let's see. Hi, this is William Pleasant. Let's get him to stop. Yeah. Can you look at us for a second? And your eyes are closed. <laughs> Anyways, he is a family sim. He wants to raise 20 puppies or kittens, which, you know, they're going to need some barn cats and barn dogs. So that is a great idea for him. He is going to be unemployed. They are going to do a home business. That's really all they're allowed to do at this point. Uh, he is a cancer. He is pretty neat, pretty active, pretty nice. His interests are money, entertainment, kind of weather, fashion, which is interesting for a peasant, of course. 
He likes makeup, he likes someone logical, and he dislikes fitness. So he don't care if the girl dick. And his traits. He's a peasant, of course. He is family-oriented. His main aspiration is family. He is a party animal because his secondary aspiration is pleasure. He is handy. His one true hobby is tinkering. Uh, he rolled to be grumpy. That's his negative trait. And he is charismatic. That is his positive trait. So, let's look at our wifey Anastasia, possibly. Yes. She's so cute. Okay. She is a fortune sim. She wants to own five top ta words. Own five top level businesses. Possible with their home business and whatnot, and eventually other businesses. Okay, she is a Scorpio. She is pretty neat, pretty active. Mm, her interests are food, which he will be doing quite a lot of cooking, so that's good. Entertainment, don't know how entertaining the medieval times are, but okay. And culture and travel. Alright, so. She is, again, a peasant. She is a workaholic, which is good for their farm. Um, because of the fortune aspiration. She is also a party animal, and I guess her secondary is pleasure. I didn't do that, so let's fix it. Okay. She is going to be an equestrian. Her one true hobby is um, nature, I believe. No, it should be sports. Let's double check that. Blah, 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 bat box, where are you? Sports, yeah, so sports. She's an equestrian, she's going to like horseback riding. Eventually, if they get rich enough, they could have horses. <clears throat> and her uh negative trait is being unlucky so hopefully nothing too bad happens to them especially with random occurrences and she is a supernatural fan because she likes unemployed people witches and she dislikes brunettes so it's a good thing her husband has brown hair and that he will be unemployed technically okay so this is their farm it is not much right now they are going to be selling um, like chicken eggs, chicken carcasses eventually, um, something like that. These are the Sun and Moon Star Factory from Plum Bob Keep Mods and Custom Content. These are the pigs from there as well. If you don't have it, you should definitely get it, even for modern gameplay. Uh, so they'll also be selling pig meat and stuff um, once they have that. So we have to feed them and water them every day. They're going to have their hands full. Probably get them a little garden at some point, too. So this is their kitchen slash living room and bedroom. They get, like, one functional fire. Like, the other families have at least three or four. I did give them some wood to start out with because we don't have anyone who sells wood yet, but that should definitely be the next pe peasant family we get is the Giving Tree Woodcutter family. Okay, so that is pretty much them. They have a like outhouse, a bathroom instead of an inside one. And they have this lovely gong pit, which uh, if they don't clean, like we talked about in another uh, part of this, there will be roaches, and we do not want that. Okay. that's them now we're gonna go ahead in the next episode be going to play our first family the goth family and we'll go around the town from there 
I thank you guys so much for checking out this introduction episode to our Sims 2 Medieval Charter Challenge. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you to all the people who have already done that. You guys are amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys more content from Sims 2 and Sims 4, maybe Sims 3 in the future as well. Thank you guys again. Bye.